<laughs> hey, it's me, your boy, Kisham Singh. You know, do you know what narcissists, toxic people, do you know what they think about failure? So, whenever these categories of people see you fail in life, they call, they see you as someone who is what a failure. <laughs> a failure. <laughs> You know, <coughs> you know, narcissists and tossy people, when they see the beginning, they always, always imagine the beginning of your joining. You got what I'm saying? So they will always imagine the beginning of your joining, but they're not going to imagine the what the, the front of that joining. You got what I'm saying? So what do they think whenever they see you fail? As a choosing, <clears throat> most of them will be asking you, Where is your God? <laughs> so, the reason why narcissists will always ask you, Where is your God? when you are failing is because they never believe that you can go far. You know what I'm saying? So, they always ask you, Where is your God? You call yourself a choosing. You call yourself a choosing, why do you ought to fail? You call yourself a choosing, why do you ought to be rejected? You call yourself a choosing, why are you not doing well? But most of them don't realize that failure is one of the greatest branches of success. <laughs> this is a secret. <laughs> listen, listen. Failure is one of the branches, is one of the greatest branches of success. You know, everything has something that back them up. So for you, the success is what um, failure is what back success up. So the reason why narcissists and what toxic people they feel they are always envy, jealous, and they don't work on themselves is because they are not ready to fail to handle what failure. So listen, the reason why many of them will look you as someone who is not doing well is because they don't understand. That in the process of you failing, there is every guarantee that you will become successful. That is why after you have failed, whether you fail two times, three times, four times, five times, how many times you don't you fail does not matter. You go saying it does not matter to them. Why? Because that is what they are always expecting to see you. But but what annoys them the moment you start to become successful. <laughs> that is why when you are failing most of them will be mocking you most of them will be laughing at you most of them will distance from you and be watching you in distance <laughs> to see if you can do what can surely rise again so what am I trying to say they will be mocking you why because they, they, what they think Whenever they see you failing as a choosing, where is your God? But they don't realize that in your failure, God is what is is what is cutting off some certain things, is training you, is making sure that you grow like a grass. Look at this. Let me show you an example. So we we weeded this place that was last two months. You can see the onions. So let me bend down. So we weed this place last two months. You know what I'm saying? So the weed have already grown. So look at it. This is weed. So the reason why we are, if we leave all this weed, the, the onions will become a failure. Because it will not reproduce well that the, that the owner will do what? We end resources. We end what? Some, some, something out of what he have already what? Invested. So the reason why we are now removing the weed is because we don't want the onions to be a failure to the owner. So, it, when the weed was around the, what, the, the onions, so this onions is now becoming what an, a failure because it can't grow well. Why? Because the manure that the, uh, the onions supposed to use to grow, the, what, the, uh, the weed, we do what? We, we, we do what? We, we grab them. They will be doing. They will be grabbing what the, the, <clears throat> the what the nutrient. So the reason why we we do what we remove it is because we want the onions to reproduce well. So whenever you are facing a failure as a choosing, 
The enemies don't understand that God is what is removing some certain obstacle. Listen, I'm going somewhere. God is removing some certain obstacle in order for you to enlarge. So when God is removing all this obstacle in your life, the enemies, the haters, the frustrators, the, the narcissists and the toxic, they don't understand that God is watering you. One, God is pulling up some certain things around you in order for you to become successful. So in that process of you failing, God is cultivating what success are a hey God. I hope you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> God is cultivating success around you. So whenever God, whenever God is what is done in cultivating you, that is when the enemy will just realize by surprise that you are now successful. That is when they'll be asking you, <laughs> yeah, we know your God is marvelous. They'll be saying to you, he's so marvelous, yo. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He's so marvelous, yo. He's so marvelous, yo. He's so marvelous, yo. Your God is so marvelous, yo. Mm. He's so marvelous, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are the one asking you, where is your God? But the moment God is done, in cultivating and fertilizing you, there will be the one that will be saying, It's so marvelous, yo. Mm -mm. It's so marvelous, yo. Your God is so marvelous. Choosing your God is so marvelous, yo. They will be telling you, Can you show us where your God is? We don't, go, we don't show you the address of our God. <laughs> because our God is invisible, untouchable, imaginable, unexplainable. <laughs> so what am I trying to say? You, the narcissists we always think that failure is the end of your life as a choosing. That you are not doing well and you are not going to rise. So they see failure as something that is what obstacle. They see failure as something that is what backwardness. They see failure as something that is like what a reproach over what you have done. Most of them will be telling you, you, you are not clean. We, we, yes, we know you are, you are not clean. That is why God is releasing all this failure in your life. You are not doing well. Your hand is not clean. And you, pre, you, you pretend as if you are a Christian. You pretend as if you are a chosen. Why would God allow all these obstacles to come into your life? <laughs> but once God is done in court, look at this now. You see, we are the one that caught this out yesterday. I posted a video about vegetable that I caught yesterday. You go and say, if you have not watched that video, go and watch it. That God have to cut some certain things out in order for others to grow out. You go and say, so we cut this out. So when God was removing all these obstacles around you and watering you, people, the enemies, people who don't like you will be thinking that that is the end of your life. But they don't understand that God is using those mist in order for him to cultivate what they call C U S S C U C C Yes C U C C E S S Success. <laughs> so when God is doing all these things, people will be thinking that that is the end of your life. That is the end of your progress. That is the end of your manifestation. But the moment God is done and the onions start to grow a large. You no, know, like these onions now, if you come next week or next two weeks when if they water it and put fertilizer because yes the fat, they have not applied fertilizer inside so if they put fertilizer in next two weeks three weeks you come here you will not believe what you will see so that is how people will do what we explain so even if if most of you watch my previous video which i did i'm sure last this last week so you will see that this place was full of what weed the, the, what, the onions found it difficult to grow. Why? Because there were many obstacles around it. So if the masters refuse to do or to clean it, it will remain like this. So the reason why God is, God, when God is what removing a certain weed around you, people see it as a failure. <laughs> My brother, this is whom I am. It's me, your boy, K. Samson. <laughs> so remember, if I'm not subscribed to my channel, can you subscribe? Don't feel bad when you are facing obstacles. It's me. I'm not going to lie to you. Don't ever you feel bad when you are facing what? Rejection, frustration, losses in your business, disappointment in your marriage. Don't feel bad because God has reason why all those things 
I would uh, happen around you. And when time will come, when those things will back you up with your success, when you are successful, when you are successful, those things will back you up. That when you remember your past, you say that small boy, that small little boy, that small little boy that said his father used to call him coconut head, have said so. And it's me, your boy, Kiss Samson. My God, change not. Remember, blessed. Shalom.